boxing has a long tradition of up-and-coming fighters using the namesake of historic boxing legends. For instance, several John Sullivans have laced up the gloves, many of whom were born with different sure names, though only one John Sullivan stood out and made a name in the sport. That was John L. Sullivan, the Boston Strong Boy. There are those rare occasions where the same name boxer actually lives up to or even has a better career than their legendary counterpart, or at the very least becomes an even bigger name. In this edition of Same Names, we look at two Hall of Fame former colored world heavyweight champions, the original Old Chocolate George Godfrey and the Leaperville Shadow George Godfrey. Remember also, if you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. Old Chocolate George Godfrey was born on April 30th, 1853 in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. The Leaperville Shadow George Godfrey was born on January 25th, 1897 in Mobile, Alabama. Old Chocolate stood 5 feet 10 inches. He had an aggregate weight of around 173 pounds for his career. The Leaperville Shadow stood 6 feet 2 and a half and had an aggregate weight of around 250 pounds for his career. Old Chocolate George Godfrey's career spanned from 1879 to 1896. He had 22 wins, 6 losses, and 13 draws. 17 of his wins were by knockout. The Leaperville Shadow George Godfrey's career spanned from 1919 to 1937. He had 97 wins, 21 losses and 2 draws. 79 of his wins were by knockout. Old Chocolate George Godfrey was a solid all-around boxer who wasn't the fastest or strongest, but a decent enough pugilist to give top fighters of his era problems. Godfrey turned pro late at 27 years old and advanced age in boxing, but more commonplace during the early days. Godfrey used his age and wisdom to guide him to becoming the colored world heavyweight champion and a legitimate challenger to the world heavyweight champion, John L. Sullivan. The fight with John L. Sullivan never materialized, but there were reports that the fight was going to take place on at least one occasion but was stopped by the police before the fight could commence. This, though, did not stop Old Chocolate from building a legacy fighting other elite heavyweights of his era. This included a fight with Black Prince Peter Jackson, who was regarded as the top heavyweight of the era outside of John L. Sullivan. He also took on other top contenders such as Peter Marr, Joe Trewinski, Jake Kilrain, Patsy Cardiff, C.C. Smith, Joe Butler, and Denver Ed Martin. The Leaperville Shadow George Godfrey admired Old Chocolate, thus the reason he named himself after the legend. He was a hard-punching heavyweight who scored 79 knockouts in his 124 bouts. Godfrey also had quickness for his size, making him one of the more versatile heavyweights of his era. A world heavyweight title shot eluded Godfrey as he was a high-risk fight for any competitor of his time. Godfrey did win the colored world heavyweight championship following in the footsteps of the old chocolate George Godfrey. Godfrey cemented his legacy despite the heavyweight title shot. On three occasions, he battled the great Sam Langford, a fighter many regard as the greatest ever, though he could only muster up a draw in one of the contests and was knocked out twice. Godfrey also fought Jack Sharkey, a former world heavyweight champion, Fred Fulton, Big Bill Tate, Paulino Uskadun, Tiger Jack Fox, and Johnny Risco amongst other contenders of the time. I'm sure a pivotal question that comes to mind is, who was the better fighter? Well, both fighters ranked amongst the elites of their era. Both reigned as the colored world heavyweight champion at some point in their career. Mythical matchups are a natural part of boxing's landscape and in this case, the Leaperville Shadow George Godfrey gets the edge over the original Old Chocolate. This is no slight to Old Chocolate and more centers on the fact that the Leaperville Shadow fought in a more profound era of heavyweights. That said, homage will always be paid to the original and those that came after him and took on his namesake would preach the same.
As mentioned, George Godfrey is from a long list of iconic names in the sport. Let us know in the comments who you'd like to see us discuss next in another edition of Same Names. Thanks for watching.